Hey, this is Walt from StogieReview.com with another video cigar review. Uh, you know, we've been doing, or actually I've been doing a lot of these first impressions videos, short ashes videos as of late. And you're probably wondering why, uh, why not the full blown uh, long reviews and whatnot. But uh, the, the reason being is because we're trying to, uh, to cover as much material as, as possible. Um, Jerry needs some covering for a little while, so we're, we're trying to bounce around and cover as many days throughout the week as possible with, with uh, reviews. And it's really difficult to, do, to, to try to do a bunch of videos and then to try to do that, that long video at the end of the week. It's just uh, very time consuming, so it's easier to bounce around with these shorter, shorter videos. And uh, with that said, I've got yet another first impressions video, which kind of snuck up on me. I, uh, I totally lost track of time. Uh, I was planning on doing something else, but lo and behold, it's late. I'm covered in white paint. And uh, I just happened to glance at the clock and was like, oh, great. Now I got I to gotta get this stuff done really quick. So uh, here I am with uh, a first impressions video, which I'm going to try to keep relatively short. And uh, the cigar I'm going to be doing is uh, the Cane F Nub. Now, uh, if you're familiar with uh, the video I did before of the Cane Maduro, uh, you're aware I'm not real fond of the line. Um, you know, nothing against Sam or uh, Oliva. I just, they're just, it, it, they're not my speed. Uh, I, I think that they're, they're all power and they lack flavor. And uh, I'm just not really fond of, of the cane line. I don't pick them up very often. But I've heard nothing but great things about the F. And uh, I haven't tried one. Uh, you know, my, I had such a, a lukewarm impression of the, the cane Maduro and the cane Havano that I really didn't get into the F line. Uh, you know, the uh, singles were available at my shop at one point in time. I had gotten a couple of freebies from uh, an event that I went to. I bought, you know, several cane. I got a free F. Uh, so, I, so I've got a couple of them floating around here, three, maybe four. And then uh, when Mike and I were at Cigar Fest, uh, we got the, or actually before Cigar Fest, Sam did uh, an event at my local tobacconist and uh, you know, I, I got there early, and he said he mentioned something about uh, you know getting there early has its privileges, and he happened to have a, a cane F nub on him, so he handed me one, and uh, you know I told him I'd smoke it and get back to him, and then uh, I don't know whether it was the following day or two days later, I saw him at uh, Cigar Fest, and he handed me another one, so uh, so I was kind of obligated to to smoke at least one and see how it goes, and the fact that that's you know the the marriage of the two lines is is uh, important. You know to the the cane and nub lines. I, you know I thought it would be worthwhile trying. I'm a, a big fan of the nub line. I like them a lot, uh, especially the Connecticut, which is kind of going backwards. I was a big fan of the Habano. Grew kind of tired of it, and then uh, went through like a box and a half of the the Connecticut over the Habano. And uh, it wasn't really blown away by the F, or by the uh, the cane line. So this is probably a 460. So let's see how this goes. Uh, you know, as I said, this is my first one. Uh, just kind of looking at it as I'm lighting it. Uh, uniform color. It's got a nice oily sheen to it. The the pre light draw was uh, had a little bit of resistance to it but was right where I like it as far as the, the freeness of the draw goes. I'm just going to fore, forewarn you. Uh, I'm kind of run down, I'm tired, and uh, one of the primary reasons I lit up this cigar was because it has a reputation of being a powerhouse and I, I was just kind of in the mood for one of those, you know, kick in the ass cigars. So. I decided to light up the Cane F nub over, you know, some of the other cigars that I was considering. That was a nose full. Now the difference between this standard cane and the the Cane F line is uh, one of the Lajero uh, uh, percentages is flipped. So, <coughs> wow, it's 
or aromatic, odoriferous. It's uh, pretty potent. And really, the, the retrohale, getting the smoke through your sinus, is really a kick in the face. It's tremendously up front. It's got a really bold, spicy <clears throat> component to it. And it really hits the sinuses hard. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of digging it so far. Uh, it, it, it's really early to be saying that, but uh, it seems more flavorful than the, uh, the, the standard cane line. Uh, you know, I don't know whether it's just a nub format or if it's the fact that uh, flipping those Lajero percentages really had an impact in the cigar in the sense that it made it more flavorful and, you know, stronger as well. But, uh, but you know, the other ones I thought were lacking flavor. And this one is, is pretty tasty right up front. I don't know what I taste. I, wow, it's really heavy through the sinuses and I kind of like it. Uh, I taste something, but I, I can't put my finger on it. Uh, give me a little bit of time. I'm, gonna, I, I'm pairing it with a beer. I'm breaking the code of uh, drinking water with uh, the first cigar. And I'm just unwinding with uh, Strong Cigar and Magic Hat number nine. And I'll be back in just a little bit. We'll see how this thing goes. Maybe short, maybe long. Uh, it is what it is, so sit tight. All right, well, I am back, and uh, it's been a little while now. I've got, I guess, a little more than an inch burned away, and uh, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, th those really heavy, rich, sort of like kick you in the face kind of flavor, I, I don't know whether there's just such sheer power in the cigar that I've become desensitized to it already or what, but they seem much softer. And it's not that, that you know, that full-blown spicy peppery powerhouse through the sinuses that it was. It's, it's kind of gentle at this point. Uh, you know, there's, a, there's a, like a pressing spiciness, but it's not that blast from earlier on. Uh, on the palate, it's got sort of like a, like a smoky sort of savory flavor to it. But that's about it. I mean... Uh, you know, I, I really like that initial bit of cigar where I was getting that 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 powerful punch. Um, but at this point, it's it's kind of mellowed. It's it's almost as if the cigar is plateaued. Uh, you know, there's no finesse. There's there's nothing to really grab my attention. And I, I don't know. I'm just kind of at a loss for words. I enjoy it more than I do the standard cane line, but it's not doing enough. Uh, as much as I want to like it, as much as everyone raves about the F series, I certainly think it's better than the Cane, Habano, and Maduro, but it, it, it's just not doing it for me. Burn-wise, it's, it's burning very well. Uh, it's holding a nice strong ash. Uh, I was going to knock it off earlier, force it off, but you know I, I've never had a problem with uh, with the nub cigars before, you know, the ash stays solid. It's one massive hunk. And uh, and I don't generally have ash problems with it, so I figured, you know what, I'll just let it go. The burn line's a little wavy. The, the draw's got a little bit of resistance to it, but it's producing uh, plenty of smoke. Uh, the, the smoke coats the palate. It's nice and full-bodied. It's it's not harsh. It's not rough. It's it's smooth on the palate. It's easy to smoke. It's it's uh, it's smooth. I mean, I, I, I could easily smoke this cigar. I'm just looking for flavor that I'm not finding. Or I'm looking for flavor intensity that I'm just not finding. Maybe I'll find it a little bit more in the cigar, but but uh, only smoking will tell. So, or only time will tell. So, uh, with that said, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Uh, drink a little bit more beer. And... Uh, I'll be back in just a second. We'll take a look at the cigar again, probably right before I wrap up. And, uh, you know, I'll do an overall impression and I'll let you be on your way. So sit tight. 
All right, well, I am back, and it's about time to wrap up my Kane F nub. As you can see, I've got uh, about an inch and a half left. And, uh, you know, I, I like it a lot more than I did the Kane uh, Maduro and Habano. F for whatever reason, in both of those cigars, when I smoke them, it's kind of like when you drink too much coffee. You feel jittery and just uncomfortable. I actually get some shaking in my hands from those cigars. And, you know, that, that's one of the biggest things that, that puts me off about it. The second is it seems like they're just lacking in flavor. They're more strength than, than finesse or, and, and flavor. In this case, it's a little different. It has more flavor. It seems smoother than the others, and this is this is clean. You know, the the claim to this one is that it's supposed to be you know the powerhouse of the the cane line, and I'm not getting that same jitteriness. I don't. It doesn't seem overly powerful. It just seems like a decent full-bodied cigar, and you know that's not what I was expecting going into it. I was kind of dreading it thinking, you know, I'm going to smoke this thing, I'm going to get a headache, I'm, I'm going to feel shaky and jittery. It's just not going to be all that enjoyable. It, it, you know, it's, it's going to do kind of what I want it to do. It's, it's, it's going to be a, a powerful end to a really long weekend and, and a really long day. And it really, it's, it hasn't been. It's been smooth, easy on the palate, easy to smoke, uh, and I, I don't feel overwhelmed by nicotine or by the cigar itself. So, in, this, in that case, I like this a whole lot more than I do the Habano and the Maduro. However, I still think that it lacks finesse. Um, you know, there's some interesting flavor there, especially the, the savory sort of smoked meat kind of a thing it's got going on. I, I, I'm really intrigued by it. It has a, a smooth flavor. It, I, I'm, getting, I'm getting a little bit of a metallic taste, but it's not enough that it, it's turning me away from it. Uh, it, it's got a nice spiciness through the sinuses, although I really did like that, that, that heavy kick in the beginning, which is long gone. Actually, it was gone by like puff number six, and it's been smooth and steady ever since. The volume of smoke is good. There's a little bit of resistance on the draw. I'm, I'm pulling on a little bit harder than I'd like. Um, it's been a while since I smoked a nub. Ever since I, I finished the last nub for Connecticut 460 of a box that I had, I, I really haven't been drawn to them. I, I, you know, I like that cigar, but I like the, the Oliva Connecticut more, so I haven't gone back to the, the nub. And has, because it's been a while and I've been smoking Robustos and Coronas, the ring gauge does feel large and a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, you know, after a couple of cigars, or after a couple of cigars of this size, I would probably roll right back into that, that comfort zone. But uh, in this case, being the first one in several months that, that's been four, you know, uh, four by 60, uh, it does feel a little large. It's getting a little warm on the fingers, but it's probably because I'm pulling on it a little bit harder than I should. Uh, so all in all, I, I, I like it. Um, you know, I, I, I would like to see more flavor, but, uh, but I do like it. I'm, I'm really surprised. I wasn't expecting to like the Kane F line. I expected it to be just like the others, only more of that jittery sensation. So uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna smoke a little bit more and I'm going to do a little bit of reading, and uh, I'm going to call it a night after that. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know. Give me your take on the on the cane line. I know a lot of people love it. Uh, some people hate it. It's uh, it seems to be a lot. It seems to be very popular, even more popular than the nub line, which is kind of surprising because that was uh, like a web phenomenon. Everyone loved that cigar. And, uh, and and it, it became even more popular when it made uh, the, the Colbert Report. So uh, tell me what you think of the, the cane line. Love it, hate it, you know, indifferent. And what do you think of the marriage between the nub and cane lines in the cane F nub? So uh, until next time, happy smoking and uh, take it easy.